Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm Nathan from the ebook reader blog. Some people have been asking how the new color Kobos fare when it comes to outdoor reading uh, because the color eating screen has a little bit of a darker quality to it. So I wanted to go ahead and put a video together. We'll compare it to a regular eating screen. We'll compare it to a tablet screen. Uh, right now we're starting off in shade. I think that's probably like the most realistic uh, outdoor reading scenario, but we'll do full sun later as well. So right now we're starting out in the shade, the Kobo Libra color here, but the same will apply to other color models as well. They all have sort of the same look with the color ink screen, the Kaleido 3 screens. So here we are outside on a bright day in the shade. Um, we'll start off this way. We got the, uh, we'll load up an ebook here. Um, so we got the front light turned off right now. When you're outside, the front light's gonna have much less of an effect than you than the inside, but if you're in the shade, it will have a little bit of an effect to lighten the screen. Um, so when you're in the house, um, like the darkness of the color screen is less noticeable because, uh, I mean, there's just not as much ambient light and then you have the front light on and the front light helps mitigate the darker quality of the screen. So as I showed in the Libra 2 versus Libra color comparison, uh, when I was comparing the front lights, you can see there's less of a difference when you're in the house with regular lighting than when you're outside. Uh, even when you have good lighting right here, like I turned the overhead lights on, a little bit darker on the Libra color, um, but it just sort of depends on how you have the front light set up. But when you're outside, the front light is less noticeable with uh, all the ambient lighting. So here we are compared to the Kindle Paperwhite. Um, so they both have the front light off. Um, as you can see with the regular e-ink screen, it does have that lighter background. So the color screens, they have this filter layer that goes over the front of the screen, which creates the color, but it lets less ambient lighting through. So that results in a darker screen. Um, here we are compared to an iPad with full brightness. Um, obviously the iPad screens are a lot more like reflective as far as like a mirror. You can see like the reflections of stuff a lot easier than you can on ink. Um, but if you're in the shade, like a tablet or a phone, you know that can work well enough if you can sort of angle it away from the light. But now we're in direct sunlight, iPad full brightness, really hard to read. Uh, I can't really even see the camera. I was struggling here because it's uh, my phone and it's so bright. I can't even like see the screen at all. But when you're working with ink out in direct sunlight, it looks great. It's one of its like main qualities is like outdoor readable quality. Um, again, though, you still have a darker quality to the Libra color screen than when you're comparing it to a regular ink screen, the regular Carter screen on the Kindle Paperwhite. So yeah, they are a little bit darker. Are they harder to read? I don't know. It's kind of a personal opinion. Definitely a lot easier to read than a tablet or a phone screen. Uh, but yeah, regular ink still has, you know, the lighter quality to the background, but you know, um, it's definitely usable as far as uh, using the color e-readers outside. They just uh, have a little bit of a darker quality to them than uh, regular ink, but you know, it's just sort of one of those things. If you want to be reading outside a lot, it might be one thing to consider, but uh, it kind of reminds me of the older ink screen. So here's my old school Sony PRS350 with an ink pearl screen before the Carter screens came out. And even it has a lighter background than the Kobo Libra color. Um, when you have them side by side. So that's one thing to consider when it comes to e-readers with color e-ink screens. They're starting to become more popular now. As you can see here, when we're out in the direct sunlight, you turn on the front light, it has zero effect. So much ambient lighting, the, the LEDs just get totally, they're just like totally unnoticeable. But when we take it back into the shade, you do notice a little bit uh, of a boost in contrast with the lighter background but i mean it's still not anywhere close to like what the regular ink screen looks like so it's just one of those things to consider uh definitely a big improvement over like a tablet screen even in the shade the tablet gets lots of reflections as if you can see here whereas you'll see a little bit of light reflections on the ink screen but you don't see like the full it's not like a full-on mirror like it is on a tablet so so that gives you an idea what color ink looks outside if you like this video please subscribe check out the ebookreader.com and you know the ebook reader youtube channel thank you guys for watching bye